guys, welcome back to Rowan Wonders. And today I will be reviewing this slime. And this is a mix and mash squishy like slime, fruity mixins. And it's a super stretchy on the top. And I see like some of the fruits in there. Ugh. Whoa. There's like a, this whole thing, there's, and the fruits are like in a different area inside of it. Okay. Huh. So here are the fruits. Um, let's see which ones I have here. So I have a watermelon. I have a kiwi. I have a carrot, which is not a fruit. I have a corn, which is not a fruit. And I have what I think is an apple slice. So yeah, this slime is actually really sticky now that I just saw it. So good thing I have some activator and I, just in case, cause it looked, and I have a different bowl to transfer it into. I'm going to do the um, baking soda and contact solution um, way so because it's a little bit clear to me I think I think it looks a little clear and I want to keep it that way so yeah Woo. yeah okay it's a very neon orange and yeah so um and why I had all this stuff like I was prepared, like I already knew what it was, that it was going to be sticky. I didn't, but I've had different slimes that I've opened before, and they've been very sticky. And then I was in trouble because I didn't have an activator nearby. So then I just had to end the video. So, so if you're opening a store-bought slime, always make sure you have activator on hand because you never know when it's going to be sticky. You never know. So, that's a good tip for if you're gonna start a YouTube channel. Always have activator nearby if you're opening a store-bought slime or doing anything with slime, really. Because it can always get a little sticky. Ah, like just now. But I have activator, so. Put a little more baking soda with my hands. <laughs> and I'm just gonna mix that in. stuck to the bowl. It really likes this bowl. <laughs> okay. Just gotta mix in the baking soda and activator. And it should be all activated. Have a little bit on my hands, but that's okay. Maybe I can get some of that slime out of there. Now. Also while I'm doing this, comment down below what your favorite type of slime is. And if you want me to, you can also comment down below what slime you would like me to make or reveal. And I can get to that as well. So now to add in the little fruits and vegetables. <laughs>
can see all of them right at the top. I actually really like this color. From when I activated it, it turned a little lighter, so now it's kind of like a neon peach instead of like a bright orange. I would go with the definition that it is um, squishy like slime because it's not super stretchy. It looks stretchy when I'm playing with it because I'm going really slow. But like if you were expecting it to be really stretchy, it's not really that stretchy. So I agree with squishy like slime, but it, I really like that at least they warn you that it might not be like as stretchy as you want. But I still think it's it's pretty stretchy. And the charms and slime itself are really cute. So I really like it. I feel like it was worth its $7. <laughs> so yeah, the corn just fell out. But um, that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Bye.